Good morning students. Welcome to today's EVS class. In today's class, we are going to start a new lesson that is lesson number 4, Adaptations in Animals. So kids, as we all know, like plant kingdom, the animals kingdom is very vast and diverse. Like plants, animals are also found all over the world. They are found in the hottest desert, under the deep ocean, in deep forest, and polar ice caps. So the home or the natural environment of a plant or an animal is called its habitat. The habitat is a place where an animal lives. It may be land, water, air, desert or forest where an animal eats, lives, grow and bring up its babies. So kids, based on the habitat, animals can be placed in five major groups. They are terrestrial animals, aquatic animals, amphibians, aerial animals and arboreal animals. So, what are terrestrial animals? Terrestrial animals are the animals that live entirely on land. For example, lion, elephant, deer, tiger, bear, etc. And now, aquatic animal. Aquatic animals are the animals which live in water for most or all of their lifetime. For example, a shark, starfish, crabs, fish, etc. Now, amphibians. Animals that can live both on land and water are called amphibians. They begin their life in water but spend most of their adult life on land. For example, frog, toad, salamander, etc. Now, aerial animals. Aerial animals are basically any animal which can fly or glide in air. For example, bat, dragonfly, butterfly, bees or any bird. Arboreal animals. Arboreal animals are the creatures who spend the majority of their lives on trees. They eat, sleep and play on trees. For example, squirrel, monkey, etc. So kids, now we know how animals are divided into parts based on their habitat. But do you know that to live in their habitat, animals develop some special features or habits that allow them to survive in their unique habitat. This process is known as adaptation. We can also say that the presence of specific features or certain habits which enables an animal to live in its surrounding is called adaptation. Students, we will learn about different adaptation in animals living in different habitats in our next class. Till then, stay safe and keep learning.